Hello everyone, welcome to part 10 of the Cityville construction series. Last time I was expanding the interchange in the middle of the uh, city here, well it's not exactly the middle, at the highway junction to a four-way junction. Uh, I'm building there, I'm currently halfway through building a cloverleaf interchange with uh, collector um, weave lanes uh, so it's got one exit and one entrance in each direction on the highway as you can see here uh, so it, it exits back here and this is where the clover leaf and all the weaving area is and then it merges back in and also on the other road it does the same thing um, this little detail you might recall is because they're really what I really wanted here was an RHW 10S with a two lane exit that left an RHW 8S going straight through. I didn't find one, so that left me using that left me splitting the uh, RHW 8 into two RHW 4s and then having a having it gain the exit and so on that way uh, no doubt uh, there will be something that will solve this problem in a future NAM but it's not available just now it'd be easy enough to change it later uh, to take advantage of something like that uh, this part is going to concentrate on finishing the interchange and then uh, extending this highway out toward the, uh, the uh, city boundary. I haven't fully decided if I'm going to keep this highway class all the way uh, out or if I'm going to drop back to a avenue or something like that. Uh, once I get past the interchange um, it's uh, it's it's still up in the air anyway uh, first up I need to finish the clover leaf so just like on the other side I need to level some ground for the uh, for the uh, construction here. Now I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 5, 26. I need about 30 tiles, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, but right where these loops happen, I, I need to have some reasonably predictable sloping going on here. Uh, so I can probably drop the slope here in this part of it on this side, but I need it up at this height for the initial uh, ramps anyway. Okay. And there we go. Okay, now I also need to level this out somewhat out to about there. Okay. 
<sighs> and as before, I'll start at the bottom to make sure that I get the ramp up here in the right place. So, flex ramp. That's the one. And I can't actually make out where. It, okay, so that's the split point. Okay, that's where I want it. Okay, so we go back this way. Okay. This will continue this way. And there will be another one of those over here. Okay. Is it going to, again, I can't tell what I'm doing here. Okay. That's the split point. That's where I want it. Okay. And that links up. And this goes up the hill. It apparently goes up the hill anyway. Uh, then I'm going to need... Okay, this needs to level out. Okay. This needs to go away so I can put my fanciness in there. Okay. Uh, I need my RHW8. Split. Like so. And I need the merge. Like so. Exit. I guess this would be an entrance. Like so. And I need the width transition. And that's going to be. Like so, I believe. Yes. Okay. Link these things up. That comes up to there. This keeps on trucking. This comes down like so, and like so. And this links up. Okay. Now if I take this out of there, it doesn't look quite so overwhelming. Okay. <sighs> now. Let's complete this side of it. Okay, first up, I need a curve. And a curve. And a curve. And I need a slope. And that's not the slope I need. Okay. And I need another curve. Like so. And this will come up like so. I need my flex ramp here. Oh, wait, 
that's not the right ones. Flex ramps. There we go. Bang! Just like that. And as I was saying, I can actually start bringing the slope down here. So, no reason not to actually. So we'll try it. Now, flex ramps again. That's the one. And there we go. Link it up. Link it up. And what do you know? It basically works. Except that doesn't. Why? Let's try this. Now it does. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. What I'm going to do is level off my hump now. And I'll use leveling tool okay Okay, I'll extend these out. This comes across like so. Why doesn't that want to f want to go? Ah, uh, it's gone and had the wrong slope on it. Now, now it goes. There we go. That's better. Hey, flex ramps. There we go. Link that. Link that. Okay, yeah, that's three quarters of the interchange complete. Now, to finish the rest of it. Uh, I can go 
goes there. It's not going to go. Let's go. Yes. Oh boy, now some more. Uh, and that goes there. build the loop. This is the final loop. Okay, that's the loop. Now, <sighs> I 
Now for the final set of approaches. Okay, there's the interchange. Whew. That was vaguely painful. crossing okay well I wouldn't want to do a level crossing with that anyway and I do an elevated no I want can I do an elevated rail over diagonal RHW that's or, or diagonal rail over to be orthogonal. Okay. What this needs to do is transition back to RHW4. So, width transition. Width transition. Okay. 
For the moment, I'm going to leave this as a highway. But I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this rail crossing. I'll have to, maybe I'll take the RHW elevated over it. Anyway, I need to finish the neighbor connection here. Now, this interchange is theoretically functional now. So, save the game. And I'll restart the simulation. Let's speed it up a bit here. There we go, it's actually getting used. Excellent. Okay, what I need to do now is clean up this area. The first thing, I, what I need to do is get this out of the way so that I can do the work. What I need to do first off is Move that out so I can put the sound walls. Okay. Now, it's under MISC transportation. Now, there's a little trick I use with these sound walls when I'm going up a slope with them. I use the two tile, the overhang ones, and I overhang it into the slope. And what that does is that as it works up, you don't have any gaps on the bottom. Well, it's not really necessary to do that, but uh, I find it looks better overall that way. Uh, we can continue along here.
I need the other one there. There we go. Now, up diagonally. Again, going uphill here. put the industrial space back here. Yep, that is, I think, pretty much what I want to do there. I think I'll bring the forest here. I'm not sure what I'll do with the forest there. One thing I do know is this farm is going away. So. Get rid of it now. There we go. Farm's gone. Now, it's just a matter of figuring out what I'm going to do with this space here. I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to see if I can can bring this avenue here around. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the avenue around. So uh roads
curves. Use a flex avenue. Like so. Okay. And then it can come around like that. Okay. Now this is quite steep here. So I think what I'll do is this area here, I think I'll make this forest. This whole area here. Yeah. That's what I'll do. I'll make this a park area. Oh, we got hydrogen power plants now. Okay, let's see. Uh, forest park two by two pine. Okay. Suppose I don't actually need the sound wall if I'm going to have a forest in there. Well, let's just say it's aesthetics that has it there instead of uh, just uh, as a noise barrier. And I say it's also there as a safety barrier so that people in the forest here don't, f don't get in the way of the highway. Okay. This can come through here. Actually, I don't want that to be a road. I want that to be a street. There we go. Okay. So, that's that. Looks like it's time to uh, boost the water supply. Uh, and yes, it is. So that's easy enough. Build another water pump. Make sure, okay, that connected. need two pumps but it will be needed soon so I'll leave it that way I have lots of money in the bank for the uh, operations for now so that's not a big issue anyway 
they also need to expand the power. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven of these. And that's running 7,000 monthly. Um, okay, so the hydrogen one is 10,000, but it also generates exactly 10 times what uh, the solar ones do on that footprint. So, with that small of a footprint, you can hardly lose by going with hydrogen power. It's also clean. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the hydrogen power plant, actually I'll put it over with the rest of this stuff here. Um, No, I'll stick it over here. Nope, not there. I'll, I'll place it here. Now, these ones are no longer required. Okay. See now this one's running at 60% capacity. Now this area here is going to be mostly low and medium density development. Um, this avenue is going to run across and I think it'll run across and then run up diagonally to connect with this one. Yeah, that's that's exactly what it's going to do. So I'll, it'll come across here. And then... See, the, these farms are no longer required for our initial development, so I can get rid of them now. Um, now let's see what was oh wait, right I was looking for curves again for and I want the right. So now this, nope, this can come across here. Up to about there. to get rid of this okay now for the curve again uh, that's about right there we go that connects up and this one will come down and connect up with this and I think it will connect at a roundabout because it doesn't really well I could bring it around and intersect it in here Maybe I'll do that. Where does the flex curve take it? Okay. 
Okay. <sighs> exactly like so. Yep. That's exactly what I'm going to do with that. Okay. Okay, what have we got in here? Hydrogen, colossal statue. Okay. Let's have a colossal statue. Apparently, one and one is not two. It never has been. Okay. Now. Don't really... I'm going to get rid of these farms now. Uh, let's just make sure don't have an issue with that. Okay. So the farms are going away. Need to make sure I don't cut the power off to down here. Uh, that would be bad. Okay. Okay. crossings here and I knew that was gonna happen okay road curves replace the curve okay There's one more up here. And problem solved. Okay. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> right. Okay. This. Let it run for a bit here. Now it says something here. Okay. 
Right. There was one more crossing that needed to go. That one. Right. There we go. Okay, so I've completed the interchange over here. Uh, sorted out this industrial development over here and added the main roads for the uh, next development which will be in here which will be mostly medium and low density um, which uh, should make up for the budget shortfall that's currently there uh, you can see the demands are still reasonable so it should fill in fairly quickly I'll probably start over on this side with the medium density stuff over here and it'll be the low density stuff over here. And I'm not sure, I might bring this forest area all the way across and link up into this forest area. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, I'm going to call it a part here. Uh, the bit that I wanted to accomplish this time is done, so uh, getting into this development here, it, it could easily suck up another hour or two, so I'm going to leave it here. And I'm not sure how long it'll take before I get back to working on the series. Uh, I'm recording this just before Christmas. Uh, it will show up on YouTube uh, sometime uh, between Christmas and New Year's. Uh, but I'm not sure how long, uh, how much time I'm going to end up taking out of things like this uh, for the, uh, the, the break there. Uh, anyway, um, if, if I don't get anything more done before the end of uh, December, uh, then I'll see you all next year in 2015. And without further ado, I'll call it a part. See you next time.